All right, well, throughout this month, I've been running a weekend series called Hobman's Haunts. I've partnered up with Missy Bennett. She's the Dean of Students at East Bakersfield High School, and she doubles as a ghost hunter. We've explored Kern County, conducting ghost investigations in several spots that are rumored to be haunted. Check out some of the spookiest moments that we've had so far. See what I mean? So like it was there, it, oh wait, what is that? That didn't sound like it was outside. Those were just a few of the eerie moments ghost hunter Missy Bennett and 23ABC experienced at the Hotel Fellows inside Kern County Museum's Pioneer Village. This is an original building from the 19th century, so it has hosted many guests and some never left. There was a suspicious death in 1926 of a man named William Hart. The first article that I discovered said that the coroner didn't even want to produce a death certificate because he couldn't um, identify a cause of death. First, we used an electromagnetic field detector to pick up any supernatural energy, and it did go off in unexpected places. I don't know. Upstairs, Missy used a spirit box, a device that creates white noise. When or if it works, um, instead of just hearing the static and the scanning through stations, you'll actually hear words uh, come out like someone's trying to respond to your questions. And we did. Yeah? yeah? Are you saying Smith? We heard it on the balcony, too. We were never able to decipher what was being said, though. Missy deems that investigation inconclusive. And you can't necessarily put any weight on the fact that it might have been paranormal. We always want it to be, like we wish so much that, um, that it is, but whenever there's another explanation that's logical, you have to go with that logical explanation. We also investigated East Bakersfield High School's auditorium. There was an accident on the stage, or somewhere in this auditorium, I presume the stage, where there was a custodian that was climbing a ladder to fix some lights, and he had fallen from the ladder and there was, was left there for two days and died during that time. Missy says students and staff believe that man's ghost still lives in the auditorium. They've seen the lights flicker on and off, and cheering like an audience was watching a show has been heard even though the theater was empty. The previous week, we had asked Missy about these stories, and sure enough, our camera lights turned on and off. And that is going to be really appropriate later. It happened several more times during our interview, but none of Missy's equipment detected supernatural energy. So does this mean there isn't a ghost inside these walls? I don't know that there was any proof that took place necessarily, um, one way or the other. Missy says it just might take some more investigating, but it does make you wonder when the students are away, who or what comes out to play. The final Hobman's Haunt story will air tomorrow right here on 23ABC at 6 and 8 a.m.